Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this one, I want to show you a new AI detector I came across. It's called AI Detector Pro. I'll put a link in the description below. And here's the thing, this is a really, really good AI detector that can really show you whether or not content was written by AI or whether it was written by hand or by a human or a mixture. And not only that, I'm going to show you proof that it works because there's a lot of detectors out there that, you know, just you know, false positives, or they, they say everything was AI de uh, written by AI and when in fact it wasn't. There's lots of really iffy uh, detectors out there, but this one at least so far has shown itself to be very good. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if you go to AIdetector.pro, you'll log in and you'll see something like this. You'll see dashboard, reports, and projects. Now, I've got one AI generated piece of text, this one here. And then I've got two human written pieces of text or, or articles, I guess would be a better way to put it. And I'm going to show you what's going on here. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to projects and I'm going to create a new project. So I just want to show you how this works. So let's just go ahead and click on default project here. And then presto, we've got a default project. Now I'm going to go to chat GPT and I've already done this, but I told chat GPT to write a 300 word essay on Macbeth. Now this writing here is by default or by definition AI written. So what I did is I just asked it for some AI written content and then I just command C and control C on a PC. So I copied it and then I'm just going to go right back into the detector here and I'm going to paste it in. And when I do that, the next step here is I can ask it to analyze. And while it analyzes, do keep in mind that you can also ask it to detect from a website or from a URL. But that's not the point here. So this one here, I did it one second ago and it came back with a 98% probability of AI written. And that's really, really good because, well, it's AI written. So let's click on it and dig in. So when I click on the link here, look at this. This is where it gets really, really interesting. You'll see here that it's not only said it was AI you know, generated, it gives you notes. It's kind of like that grammar teacher or your spelling teacher that uh, fixes your paper <laughs> and tells you what you can suggest and do better. We'll look at that here. Look, it says this paragraph exhibits clear signs of being written by AI. You know what? It, it has it in bright red and in and, uh, yellow orange, I guess that would be, um, uh, showing parts that really could use a little bit of fixing. If we go down a little further, you'll see some stats here. Now, I'm going to have to zoom in a bit because it's a little bit, uh, uh, I guess it's just a little uh, odd for me because for me, I don't know how all of this works. So I'm just being blunt. It's an analyzing a part of me to see if the writing sounds like another human being. And it bases it on, uh, from what I can remember here, it bases on what it sounds like a human would sound like. How the heck it does that, I don't know, but it does it. So there you go. So if we zoom in a little further here, you'll see a graph of what sounds, you know, kind of good. And then the blue is bad. And then the overlaps are all explained here. I don't want to go into details here, but if the orange and the blue shapes look similar, then your document sounds somewhat like AI. So the overlapping part is the part that needs to be fixed in a nutshell. And then if we go down a little further here, I'll zoom out a bit. You'll see here that they go into a hundred different signals. Now I'm familiar with a few of these ones like uh, the flesh test, the flesh ease test. I believe that is used by WordPress and uh, what's that uh, 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 plugin that everyone uses there, Yoast for the search engine optimization. So this is a Yoast uh, approved test and it gives you a score on each one of these. And then a lot of these I'm not too familiar with, but you know, the how many complex words, how long are the words, how short are the words, et cetera, et cetera. So it goes into detail there. Now let's zoom out here and let's go ahead and use what we kind of came here for is we're gonna now humanize the text. This is where it gets good. So we know it's AI uh, generated text. We know that it's been detected. Now let's open it with the eraser. And this is where this becomes a really good tool. So here it is, it's all marked up. It's all marked up saying, hey, here's what's good, here's what's bad, and it's all in colors and all that good stuff. Watch this though. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things. First off, I'm gonna copy the doc to a clipboard. So now I can copy and paste it anywhere. So in case I make any changes and I forget <laughs> to do what I need to do, I can just go ahead and copy and paste it in. But here's the best part is we can now suggest a paragraph rewrite or we could humanize the document. Now humanizing the doc document means it's going to rewrite the paragraphs all at once to reduce the AI score. So this is the one we want in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that 
Now watch this. It says it's rewriting the text and it may take up to 10 minutes. So it takes a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to come back when this is done. I'm going to show you an example that I've already run. And then I'm going to show you this example. And then I'm going to show you why this works. All right, welcome back. So here it goes. It's, it took about, about 90 seconds or so. And it says the rewrite is complete. You should get a rescan or pardon me, an email that's been sent to you and you can click rescan to scan the results for AI. So we're going to do both those things. So the first off, I'm going to go into my email. And as you can see here, there is an email saying, hey, the document's complete and it sent me the new rewrite. And you'll see here it says the play Macbeth by William Shakespeare is about some serious stuff. Okay, so it's kind of got a, a cordial, um, a collegial type style to it, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. I'm just going to go and select all the text and then Command Z to copy it. And then I'm going to go back into the AI eraser tool. And in fact, let's go right back to the dashboard and let's just start a new project and see what the text that they just sent us to if it passes the test. So here we go. I just copy and paste it in. I'm going to analyze it. And presto, now it gives us a 2 out of 100, meaning it is not AI detectable. Now, this is, of course, assuming that their calibrations are high and, you know, that they know what is and what isn't AI. But let me show you a few more things while I got you here. I'm going to go directly to Wikipedia here, and you'll see here that I've copied in the first, you know, three paragraphs of the Wikipedia. And that includes even some of the weird, uh, you know, definitions and spelling and footnotes and stuff like that. Because this, by definition, Wikipedia is basically written by people, by a lot of people, and the best stuff really kind of comes to the front. So I'm going to copy and paste in from Wikipedia, and then in theory, this should not be found as AI. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze it, and watch this. Well, it's already done. Wow, that was pretty quick. You'll see here that Macbeth, if I click on this, this content was likely written by a human, and this is a direct copy-paste from Wikipedia. So, I mean, assuming that this is correct, guys, and, and it looks pretty good, it can detect between human written and AI detect or AI written. Now, why is this really important? I'll wrap it up here. Simple, because nobody wants to, sp if you're uh, writing a blog and you want to get search engine optimization, you don't want to have pure AI content and you don't want to have pure handwritten content. Think about what a graphic designer is doing these days. The best graphic designers use, you know, pre-built templates. They use, you know, pre-built like Canva, and then they customize it to their, to what they want. So they start off really, really quickly and they get a whole bunch of ideas and it's no point drawing every, every single one of these things out by hand. Use a tool like this, get some pre-written content, get some AI generated content, make sure that it passes the human sniff test Use this tool, it works. Thanks for watching.